What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Today is that day. It's finally here. My car is getting dropped off tonight at TNA Motorsport. It's going to be getting the forged internals. It's getting canned and we're taking that first step, baby, to rebuilding this engine. I'm so excited. I can't wait. Um, I actually want to do the billet oil catch can for you guys, but unfortunately you'll see in the video whenever I post it. There was um, a set of screws. Unfortunately, I lost them and not in a good way. It wasn't just like I lost them somewhere in my apartment. I lost them. Well, you'll see in the video whenever I post it. First, before I get into a little more details, um, I just want to say thank you. We hit 400 subscribers. Honestly, it means a lot to me. When I first started this channel, I thought I was just going to do it for fun. Just kind of make a couple of videos here and there. And um, honestly, just seeing the views and the positive feedback, it's honestly, you know, like a fire inside me to keep going and uh, I'm so motivated to kind of give you guys great content on the Jeep SRT and with this platform and um, we're only getting started. We're only getting started. As you've seen in my past videos, a lot of it's just installs and cosmetic stuff. We're going to get to more content. I really can't wait and um, I just can't wait to see where this channel could go. So honestly, I just want to say thank you to everybody. It really does mean a lot. And if you're new here, please hit that subscribe button. If you like the video, please give it a thumbs up. That really does help me and it does motivate me to keep doing more and more. And, um, you know, I just really just from the bottom of my heart, just want to say thank you. I'll show you uh, the parts that I have in my possession that I ordered from MMX. Uh, like I said, the shop ordered a whole bunch of stuff from their perspective that they think I should have threw in the car just to make this thing bulletproof and handle all the power that's going to come in the future. So I, I can't wait. If you're new to the channel, it's your first time watching. I'm rebuilding this engine because I had lifter failure. Fortunately, Jeep, even though I had, um, what you call it, um, that I had a warranty, I took it to the Jeep dealership like six, seven times. Issue still never got resolved. They didn't want to give me a new engine. They said the headers, because I had headers on it, it was already flagged. So I don't know, it's just a whole bunch of shit. And honestly, I, I, my whole intention was when I bought the Jeep SRT was I wanted to build it out. So this is why I'm forging the internals why I'm getting it canned because we're going to take it to the next step and then it's going to keep going up slowly little by little obviously these things are expensive um, the new Whipple supercharger came out the 3.0 liter gen 5 I believe it's a gen 5 supercharger it's the new one that just came out from Whipple it's better than the last one which is the 2.9 liter um, supposedly it makes more horsepower um, so hopefully I'll be one of the first, you know, Jeep SRT owners that'll actually get that in the car. But like I said, these things are expensive. The supercharger alone with all the stuff that it comes with, the intercooler, the fuel injectors, it's like eight grand. So plus install, unfortunately, you know, I, I can't install these things myself. I wish I could. I'd save myself a shit ton of money, but it is what it is. Life is short. Do what makes you happy. So that's just what I'm going to do. Um, so yeah, so I'll, uh, I'll bring you guys along later. I'll show you the parts that I got from MMX. I got the rods and pistons package. I got um, their custom grind camshaft along with um, their MDS um, delete kit and comes with the Hellcat lifters. Um, I know some fuel injectors are coming. I, I don't know if it's a thousand CC ones or it's a 750. Um, I think for now we're doing 750s because they're a little cheaper. Um, it's all gonna come down to the tuner which my tuner is gonna be Duster Hoff Tuning. Um, you can look them up on Instagram. They do pretty much all the crazy track hawks that you see on Instagram. Most of them are done by Duster Hoff Tuning. Uh, not all of them, I'm just saying some of the crazy ones, especially the ones here based in New York. Um, a lot of them go with Duster Hoff Tuning because I don't know, they're just, I guess the best. And that's what my shop uses. So whatever they say, I'm gonna do because I, I trust the shop. Alan is the owner. He's one of the nicest guys I've ever met. Um, and I trust my Jeep with him. And um, I, I know it's going to come out good and I don't really expect any hiccups or anything like that. So I will talk about in the future how much this cost me. Um, I know I went over in one of the videos, um, I think when my, I think it was like the engine still broken video. I talked about the part, the parts that I ordered. I think I went through their whole list of what TNA ordered. Um, I went through the MMX stuff. Um, I do have that stuff here, so I will show you, you know, I'm not gonna take everything out of the box, but I'll, I'll show you guys like the parts and stuff like that, how MMX sent it to me. What's up, Daisy? She's guarding my, uh, she's guarding my parts right now. So this is everything I got from MMX. Um, let me grab my phone real quick. I'll show you exactly what I ordered from them. All right, so from MMX, I ordered their Forge 2618 drop-in pistons and rods power package. 
It's the coated rod bearings and premium main bearings with the MLX Hemi five layer head gaskets by Cometic. I also got their custom grind camshaft, which was grinded and made specifically for my vehicle. Um, I can't wait to hear that chop sound, man. So actually when I got the cam, um, it's actually in this box. This was actually the first piece to arrive. So I ended up getting it here. Uh, let me see if I can get it out. So this is the cam right there. It shows like the specifications on it, all that stuff. So this was the first piece to arrive. They asked me, you know, what kind of sound I wanted. Um, they're like, do you want it to sound stock? Do you want sound in the middle? Do you want it very choppy? And me, I love loud cars. I love muscle cars. So I said I wanted that shit choppy as fuck. So that's what I'm going to be doing. That's what it's going to be sound like. So once I get the car back, you guys are going to hear that chopping sound. Um, and here I have the push rods. Um, here I have some bearings, I believe. Uh, these were the parts that were actually delayed. So this came later. And then this was everything that came um, from the beginning. As you can see here, we have the lifters. Um, these are the springs. These are bearings, um, gaskets. Um, the pistons are probably down here. Um, what else is down here? What is this? The connecting... All these boxes. The connecting rods are down there by Manly, as you can see. Uh, what do we have in here? Here, the Pachi head. Looks like some springs, some washers. Uh, looks like the cam bolt is all the way, the new cam bolt's all the way down there. Um, so you see, we're, we're ready to go, man. All the parts are here. Um, there's more parts that my shop ordered. And um, yeah, it's exciting, man. I really can't wait to get this done. Whew, back in the SRT, see the engine light on. Hopefully that'll be the last time we ever see it again. So we're on our way, we're in the SRT. Check it out, SRT. See the engine light on. You can see it right there. On our way to uh, TNA Motorsport. Uh, I have my GoPro right now. Uh, I figure it's just easier to carry this than bring my whole camera setup. Um, Cause it's just gonna be quick. I have the piece in the car, I'm just gonna be dropping it off. Um, and then I probably won't see this baby until, um, until you know, it's fixed and it's ready to rock. thunderstorms here at last weekend they were pretty pretty bad here we are TNA Motorsport 